I'm Russ Kinsler, I'm the Missouri River System Supervisor for the North Dakota Game and Fish Department, and today we're spawning walleyes on Lake Skakawea. The walleye spawn is kind of two parts play into it. One is photo period, so the amount of sun daylight during the day, and the other is water temperature. So for walleye in Lake Skakawe, it's probably a little more so photo period, and that's why we see the end of April, the beginning of May, that's when they spawn. Even if the, the ice comes off early and the water warms up a little bit, they still kind of wait till that end of April and, and beginning of May. But once we get into the, the lower 40s, upper 50s, walleye start to spawn, and we like to get them in that early stage because when the water warms up into that mid to upper 50s, then we start seeing uh, egg quality issues uh, in the fish or in the spawn. So, in order to catch walleyes to spawn, first we uh, we put nets uh, generally in the backs of the bigger bays on Lake Skakawea. So they're uh, they're f called frame nets, uh, which are live capture nets. They're, they're, so we catch the fish alive, um, and then the, the crews will go out with the boats, uh, open the nets up dip the fish out and they'll bring them back here to our spawning site which is just set up on a boat ramp here um, in the boat they sort the males from the females so when they bring them in they're already sorted we put them in different tanks and the crew down here will will spawn the females and the males and mix the eggs and the milt and uh, to fertilize the eggs then the eggs are coated with uh, a really fine clay because walleye eggs are sticky and in the hatchery situation, we don't want the eggs to be clumped together. So we coat them with a the clay and then we rinse that clay off and then put them in coolers and haul them to the hatchery. Once they're at the hatchery, and in this case, Garrison Dam National Fish Hatchery, the uh, Fish and Wildlife Service there will hatch the eggs out, stock the ponds with the, the fry, and then harvest the small fingerlings and a month or so after they've been stocked. And then they get spread out to different lakes throughout North Dakota. So this year our goal is 460 quarts of eggs. A quart of eggs has about 120,000 eggs in it, so that goal is just a little over 55 million eggs. And like I said, those will be hatched out at Garrison Dam National Fish Hatchery, and then the fingerlings will be stocked in uh, the various lakes throughout North Dakota. And right now we're at a record number of lakes. This year with this last winter, we had a pretty significant winter kill in some of our lakes. So you know, a lot of those lakes will be getting stocked with these fingerlings and it's basically a new lake scenario, which is the fish should do really well in those situations. So we have a really good working relationship with the hatchery. So with walleye spawn, with northern spawn, with the salmon spawn, we will go out and collect the fish and spawn the fish. And with the salmon spawn, it's, it's with their help. And even, even with some of the northerns and walleyes, they will come out and help us sometimes, but we go out, collect the fish, spawn the fish and then the eggs go to the hatchery. At that point, it's their responsibility to hatch the eggs and uh, raise up the fish to a stocking size. Once they're ready to stock, then the game and fish department will come back in and uh, haul the fish out to the different lakes. So it's a very cooperative effort that you don't see many places all in the country. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that every lake that's got walleyes in it in North Dakota at some point in its history has gotten fingerlings from eggs taken in Lake Sakakawea. So yes, I mean, it doesn't matter whether it's Lake Sakakawea or the smallest little lake that's got walleyes in it. Odds are it's been stocked at some point with uh, Lake Sakakawea walleye. So the fish are looking really good in Lake Sakakawea. The average size here at Parcel Bay, the females are probably in that five pound range. So they're, they're looking really good. Um, when we were here last year, we didn't encounter a lot of fish and it was kind of puzzling to us. And this year we're right back to where we used to be with lots of fish here in the bay. Right now, this year spawning, we're actually a little bit higher than we were last year. Even though we came out of winter lower than last year, the, the good snow pack on the plains gave us a nice rise. So the lake is actually a little higher than it was last year. And the prediction is for the lake to come up to a little bit higher than we're at peak last year. So the lake is looking really good right now. Um, between the water levels and the, the fish populations looking good, I, I see only good things for the future. Right now, fishing in North Dakota is probably is as good as it's ever been for walleye fishing. There's probably the most walleye lakes we've ever had and uh, the future just looks bright. <laughs>